Whew, unbelievable. Right now we have 29.3 degrees here in the studio. The days are getting warmer, which means that the rooms are warming up too, which of course directly influences your PC as well. But here's a bit of advice how to keep your CPU and GPU cool and safe. <sighs> Tip 1. How to structure your case. We use the Intel i7-7820X CPU with 8 cores and a GTX 1070 graphics card with a standard fan curve of which aims at 60 degrees Celsius so that we can't expect much deviation here. As you may remember, hot air always is sensed so that you better guide the airflow within your case from the front and bottom to the back and top, preferably with a lot of fans. Even with only two fans you should make sure that the front fan is positioned in the bottom of the case and the CPU cooler of course blows from the front to the back. It's also highly recommended to make sure that a thorough cable management is in place so that the cables don't get in the way of the airflow. While the room thermometer shows a 24.9 degrees, we start the time spy benchmark and let it run for 30 minutes while monitoring the maximum temperatures. We used the fan control on our case to choose the most silent possible configuration, which resulted in 66 degrees for the GPU and a maximum CPU temperature of 83.25 degrees. It's important to mention that our recording studio has gained 2 degrees during our test due to the PC and the hot lamps. Tip 2. Optimize, optimize, optimize. Our PureBay 600 has a very useful feature, which makes venting hot air a piece of cake. Open the top cover and off it goes. Due to the CPU cooler, the graphics card and possible HDD trays, air turbulences can easily escape through the top. But even with the perfect airflow, the heat will dissipate at least in part through the open slits. In addition, we have put the fans into performance mode. All of these simple measures show palpable results. The CPU clocks at 72 degrees and the GPU at 63. Tip 3. More fans. The longer warm air remains in the case, the faster the temperatures of CPU and GPU will rise because the coolers on them have to use this air in their cooling endeavors. So the faster we provide fresh air, the faster we'll receive lower temperatures in our precious components. In order to speed things up a little here, we skip the intermediate steps and install three 120mm Pure Wings 2 fans in the front as air intake and four more with PWM in the top and back. The front fans are being controlled via the case panel and the other ones via the motherboard while using the maximum settings. At the starting point of our benchmark run, our studio has heated up already and shows 25.5 degrees which is not a problem as 7 fans work their magic and deliver improved results as expected. The GPU is now at 61 degrees and the CPU at 67.75. But that's still not cool enough for us. Tip 4. Positioning your PC. A computer can be only as cool as the self-contained harmonious heat exchange it's in. The lower the room temperature, the more effective the CPU can be cooled and the smaller the difference between the CPU temperature and the room temperature, the so-called delta T. It's quite obvious actually, efficient cooling and room temperature work hand in hand. Which is why the position of the computer can be quite important. We have placed our test build with the very first settings in a corner close to the walls. This slightly increases the environmental temperature, but the test results are pretty much the same. So the next test features the normal settings on a chair, which also lightly increases the temperature of the ascending air, but also delivers similar results. In short, Within our studio setting the placement of the computer makes virtually no difference as the taken in air at the bottom remains the same temperature which is probably due to the size of the room. The heat accumulation above the computer has only minimal impact but that's also due to the short testing period. But you should nonetheless make sure that your computer has enough distance to the walls and the table. And most importantly that the air intake is unhindered. 
A solution that's not that easy to accomplish for most people is to place the computer in a cool area like a basement. Our fan laboratory here has a bespoke air conditioning system which we use to simulate a cool basement environment with 20.2 degrees instead of 25.5 in which we let the 7 fan build roar. The room does not heat up as quickly as our studio due to the lack of lamps and also it's not being directly shined upon by the sun. The results are dramatic. The GPU is now at 57 degrees while operating scarcely audible. And the CPU runs at a cool 60 degrees Celsius. Well, nobody expects you to move into your basement. But in order to keep the room temperatures down, you should avoid direct sunlight pouring into your room by using blinds and curtains. And if the outside temperature is higher than the room temperature, which is normal during midsummer, it's recommended to scintillate the room only in the early hours and keep the windows closed afterwards. The results are clear. We have managed to cool the CPU down by a whopping 23.25 degrees, which of course is also in part due to our very own Dark Rock 4 being able to flex its muscles in a cooler environment. Balancing effective cooling and silent operation is a delicate task, of course. For this video, we have emphasized the cooling, but a faster operating case fan can make life easier for the generally slightly louder GPU cooler, which ultimately results in a cooler as well as quieter system. We hope this was helpful. Stay cool and stay quiet.